Senator Cruz was asking you at the end of, of his time and questionings about United States versus Stewart. This is the case where Neil Stewart tried to cross state lines to rape another person's nine-year-old daughter. He had 6,700 images and videos of egregious and brutal child pornography. The government recommended 97 months. The guidelines said 97 to 121 months. You came in at 57 months. Senator Cruz asked you why. The chairman wouldn't let you, let you answer. I thought maybe you'd like to answer now. Thank you, Senator. No one case can stand in for a judge's entire record. I have sentenced more than 100 people in a variety of egregious circumstances. In every case, and especially cases that involve the kinds of acts that you're talking about, the kinds of evidence that I had to deal with as a judge, in every case, I am balancing the factors that Congress has determined are appropriate and required for a judge to make a determination. The data points that Senator Cruz pointed to that you may have in front of you don't account for all of the information that was before me as a judge and the authority that you all, Congress, and your prior confirmation when I was a district judge provided for me to exercise my judgment, and I treated those cases and every case very seriously and imposed a sentence that was sufficient but not greater than necessary to promote the purposes of punishment. Would it surprise you to learn that Mr. Stewart is a recidivist? He was warrants issued again for his arrest just three years after you sentenced him? Would it surprise me? Yeah. Would it surprise you? You know, Senator, um, there is data in the Sentencing Commission and elsewhere that indicates that there are recidivism, serious recidivism issues. And so uh, among the various people that I've sentenced, I'm not surprised that there are people who reoffend, and it is a terrible thing that happens in our system. Yeah, indeed it is.